Rusty, my kitty cat, is laying right over here. He's, uh, it's getting cold, and he starts to get in, comes in more in the wintertime. And, of course, I got Fabo here. He was laying on my chest before I grabbed the camera, and he, um, because I wanted to get some video of Rusty, um, because, you know, we don't do a lot of videos with Rusty. And now you can see why um, it's hard when you don't have depth perception. It's because the camera is perfectly demonstrates why. Oh, man, what's for the cord? You see, I one of the things with depth perception is you can't. Uh, what, what happened? What do you see with the viewfinder? How can you see how close you are? Oh, here he is. Hi, Mr. Cat. Hi, I just wanted to say hi to you. He's been a little grumpy lately. Um, I think I know what it is. It's the same as with everybody else. He wants to go home. He misses his home. He misses his his soft bed and his his cat dishes and his nice, you know. Okay, I mean, he's not so much into the litter box, but you know, he's still kind of. Appreciates the fact is that he does have the as an option. Right? Not a cat. Mux is being used by the kittens upstairs. And Mama Cat. And, uh... He's... He's growing up. He's a full-grown cat now. He's not a kitten anymore. He will be an adult soon. He already is. He's a... He's a big cat. And, uh... You know, the hardest thing is when you're doing videos and you're trying to get, especially with cats, is they are hard to take pictures of. You can see he's he's laying there. He's kind of chilling out. I got the electric heater on because it's so cold. So cold. So now I'm laying on the bed. Um, so let me just go ahead. Well, I just do my vlog too, guys. It is Saturday. It is. I'm on my bed, so yeah, I'm not. I, I don't look at my best. Sorry. Okay. Uh, because, like I said, ooh, I'm on my bed today, and it's cold outside. It says somebody. I think the Weather Channel has made a mistake with the temperatures. I say in the six degrees outside. Excuse me? I'm not a cold temperature by minus for you. I know what nine and six degrees feel like. That ain't no nine and that ain't no six. Okay. It's probably about four and it is cold. All right. So don't tell me it's 9 and 6 degrees. That's not true. It's not that warm at all. And, uh... No surprise that my kids are being in the house. Why would you want to freeze your body out in the cold? Huh? Wait, Rest, you don't really like that. Freezing? He laid with me all day. He laid with me all afternoon. I took a nap. I did not know he was laying there. Right next to me. The truth of the matter is, is a lot of us just want to go home. And he's certainly no different than anybody else in that area. Oh, I know. I'm shooting this in high definition. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. They put the lights on the porch um, outside. So the porch is now... Has all the lights. They put a temporary step. The last step that's missing on the porch... So you can get on the porch. They still got to put the hand railings on. And the electrician had come over tonight about 7-ish and put the lights in. I thought that was kind of way late at night, but that's what time they came. They put the lights in at that time of night. And so... 
I gotta do some work for Jimmy tomorrow in Otis. Um, I have to um, help him light the heater in the restaurant, and I have to um, help him replace hot water heating element in one of the water heaters that went bad. So we'll take care of that tomorrow. And uh, so that's pretty much it, really. And um, we're going to start getting ready to close up the house. We'll probably go home because this is was temporary housing. What I did was I took the air conditioner out of the window and the sheet plastic that was originally here in the window, I never took off completely. I just had it rolled up. So now I got to do is just take my um, regular Bostitch um, paper stapler because it's wood, you know, it's not going to be too hard to put little staples into wood surfaces. Originally, somebody used nails. I thought that was a little bit excessive for what you need to do with it, you know. I'll just put a stick of standard, five, or standard staples in there and then just and put it together and be all set. And and I am looking forward to going home. I really am. I miss my apartment. I really do. Um, I didn't buy any good stuff this week yet uh, from eBay. I did put money away into eBay. But I didn't buy anything at eBay. Are you going, Rusty? He has his own little place in the house he goes to, too. He just... Um... What I'm thinking about buying is a new corset, because this one, as I mentioned before, is kind of battered. I got careless when I first got it, and I caused a lot of damage to it. And so, I kind of want to rebuild. I want to get a brand new corset to replace the one, this one, because it's kind of beat up. And so... Uh, fame wants, he wants my chest back. See? <laughs> There's Fame. He's looking right there. And, uh, it's hard for the camera to focus on the old Fame Buster. Famer. He's doing good, too. And both are. Alright. So, do I think we could be back earlier than Freddy? Yes. I think it's very possible. Do I think we could be back here by Tuesday? Very likely. Do we could be back, could we be back by Monday? As soon as the, the appropriate officials for the town and the state come in and approve the job, sign off the papers, yes, it is hypothetically very possible we could be back here Monday. And I'm looking forward to that. And then, of course, the sexual inspections will begin. And that's the way it goes. So, for the time being, I guys, I just wanted to let you know that I'm really sorry that the two live Ask Us Any Things were a fiasco. You know, it does happen. Maybe, maybe next time they'll go better. I don't know. We'll try to get a better Ask Us Anything going. Okay. And eventually, for the iPhone 3GS, we're going to have to replace the battery that's inside the phone, too, because it's not holding a charge. So I'll probably send that phone to Apple and have them uh, give it a once-over to totally take the phone apart, replace the home button that's kind of doesn't work very well, replace the built-in battery, uh, do any other PM maintenance necessary to make the iPhone 3GS work well. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to cost me for such a fine, oh, such a uh, significant uh, improvement, but uh, we'll find out sooner or later. But for right now, I want to thank everybody for watching, and for the time being, please do not forget to like or dislike. That means I'm not trying to poke you in the eye, fam. Share with your friends and your enemies, whoever. Comment in the comment sections below here. That lets me know 
if there's if you got ideas, comments, or suggestions for videos, I'd love to hear them. And if you subscribe, please do. It helps because it tells me you want to stick around for the long run. And hopefully we'll come up with some new ideas within that time. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody.